Here I am outside of the front main entrance to the NAM show and I managed to bump into one of my favourite dudes I've been wanting to meet for years. This is Dino Cazares from Fear Factory. How's it going, mate? <laughs> nice get a dog, Get a dog up you. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Cassie and Jason have been teaching you yeah. that, haven't they? Uh, you know, just going to Australia for the past, what, 15 something years? Yep. You know, you learn lingo a little bit, you know? Of course. Oh, y tu hablas un poquito español. Yo también. Más o menos. And, and then uh, in Australia they go, Dana. What's up, Dana? <laughs> Dana. Dana. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm an Australian. So, so, look, so look, they're saying Dana, but it's Dino. It's, so of not, course, like, like the good. Flintstones dog. Exactly. So is Dino short for something, or that's actually no, your full Dino. name? Just yeah. born as Dino? Yeah, Dino. Cool. Just, just born as Dino? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were just born as that dude, and now you're this dude. <laughs> now I'm you? this dude. Excellent. Nam 2017, here we are. Today's exactly. first day. So. Yep, day one. Yeah. So, I've, heard, I've done a lot today, so it's been good. Hey, really? Have you, are you a bit exhausted already? No, not exhausted, but... Uh, Ready to leave. Yeah, of course. Well, you're just waiting for your wife, aren't you? <laughs> yep, the beautiful wife. I've got one of Dino's signature model Ibanez guitars in the store right now, which is actually signed by Dino already. Um, normally, I get guitars autographed by people, but... No one wants to buy it! What's up with that? Do you want me to say? Honestly, I think he it says, needs... He says it needs two pickups. That's what I think. What do you guys think? What yeah. do the people out there think? Chuck does, comments. Does the guitar need two pickups? I never play two pickups. I play one pickup. But, I do have guitars with two pickups in it. Of course. But... My style is one pickup. But you know if you put mean? a single coil size in the neck, it gives customers buying guitars options. Well, fuck them. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I would never say that. No, you did just say that. I know, but I'm just joking. <laughs> but no, um, you know, I want to make people have asked me over the years, you need to sell that particular type of guitar. And so I made the guitar. Actually, we, had, we did sell quite a lot, just maybe not your shop. Unfortunately. Maybe something's wrong with your shop. Maybe. It's a big shop. <laughs> Maybe the shop needs to change. You, you need to I'm see the get... shop first. Trust me, it will blow your mind. And, and this is in Tokyo, right? 2,000 guitars in Tokyo. Wow. And about 70% wow. of it is high end. I can imagine a lot of Vi guitars are sold there. Next time you come to Tokyo, you'll have to drop in. Cool. We'll, we'll sort something out. we gotta, we got to go get some sushi, some really good sushi. By all means. See, me being an Ibanez player too, so I'm a very, very passionate Ibanez owner and player. I own quite a few Ibanezes. Uh -huh. I've got some very rare ones. Like, I've actually got uh, a 1986 PL2660, which is a flying V neck through. Like a Randy Rhodes style wow. Ibanez one. Yeah. That's super well, rare. Well, that was before the lawsuit or after yeah. the lawsuit? Just after. <laughs> Just after, okay. And I've got a uh, S-Series double neck. Nice. From, from 1991. I got an old Alex Skolnick P, uh, 540P2 and a whole heap of stuff. So I love I have uh, I have quite a few uh, LA, LACSs. So. I had one, which was Marty Friedman's, and I sold it to somebody. But I had one. But not as many as you. So well, Anyways, you so when I designed the guitar, yes. I was like, okay, I'm going to design it to how I like it. And not everybody, of course, is going to like what I do. I mean, if you want to be one of those standard players with two pickups, then go ahead and go buy a standard guitar. You know, some people like the option. Some people don't care. You know yep. what I mean? So I was one of those guys. I was never, I never went to the bridge pickup for a solo because I wasn't really, that wasn't really a Fear Factory style. So we never went to the, you know, I, I meant to say the, the neck, neck pickup. pickup. Yeah, I thought Sorry, so. Sorry, neck pickup for a solo. So, you know, I was never one of those kind of players. But, um, you know, but I do have... Some guitars with double pickups in it. So. Yeah, and then the twenty-six and a half inch scales. Your preference on your guitar? Yes, because it's better for lower tunings. So when you play live, the tension is better. Of course, when you play live, are you using that maroon, 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 whatever you guys pronounce it as, that reddish colored guitar exactly stock as somebody would be buying exactly it off the shelf? Exactly stock. Nothing different. Nothing different. There you go. Well, that's a pretty good bit of weight to be able to go and buy the guitar. Nothing different. I mean, there is some little customizations that I personally do. Yeah. Like for instance. In the back springs, I add more foam so they don't ring out that much. Okay, yep. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, people have done it over the years. And, of course, my signature thing that I always like to do, which has been discovered over the last few years, is I like to, I like to put foam on the top yep, to of the headstock the noise. to stop the noise up there. Exactly. And it was before everybody was putting their hair ties, before everybody was putting, like, little wristbands, and then yep. somebody came out with some other stuff. You know, I just never liked all that clutter on top of the headstock, on top of the spring. So I've always used the pickup foam that goes underneath your pickups. That's cool. I just, I just trimmed it up, and I fit it perfectly so it'll be like the top bridge. It'll be next to the top bridge, and it looks perfect. It's discreet, and it does a great job. Very So easy. that's basically what I've been doing since, like, 
93. Wow, you really were yeah. a idiot on. Now yeah, yeah, way back. Doing yeah, yeah. Stuff. Well, because when you're recording in the studios, you know, we've had, I've had producers over the years I'd be like, oh, your string's making string noise and do this and do that. And so they would always put tape. Yeah. They would put tape on the strings and tape on the top. I'm like, tape, it's, you know, I was like, well, after I started doing the first record, I started noticing like, oh, okay, live, I hear the same noise. Hmm. So then I decided to put foam in there and it, and it worked. Perfect, done. Because I didn't want a big old piece of tape on my headstock, you know, so I put yeah. the foam in there and it just, Looks it was better. discreet, cut it out perfectly, put it in there. So, nice so what's coming good. up with you with Ibanez next? Ibanez next, uh, we are working on something, something. Okay. <laughs> Something, something, um, I, like can't, that. I can't really talk to, about it too much, Ooh, but um, there is something coming. We are trying to do a more affordable model. Okay, cool. So we're working on. I know that it'll have a reverse headstock at least, because that's your thing. Of course. Very nice. Yes, exactly. It is my thing. So an affordable Dino model. Perfect. An affordable Dino model. So that means, so to make it affordable, that means you probably have to change the bridge. Yeah, of course. But you know um, what would be really cool if one probably, of your graphics was somehow or another put onto the guitar because people love the graphics on your guitars. Okay, talk to them about that. Because, I will. You know um, what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to speak to Ibanez directly yes, and say, let's put a graphic on Dino's they guitar. They wouldn't. They wouldn't let me on the first model. I no. want to put a graphic on it. But you know what? They, they sometimes make Indonesian and so on built models which have graphics because they can do a lesser expensive version with some type of a print or yeah, whatever. Yeah, but you're talking about you're talking about a vinyl sticker that goes on the top of the guitar. Mm, I was, somehow. I was never really into the vinyl stickers because I always felt that it changed the tone of the guitar. Ah, fair enough. So I was never into that. I would be into somebody airbrushing something on the guitar, which obviously is much more expensive. Exactly. Or you can do like what, um, what's his name does... Uh, Joe Sashiani where he actually draws his own guitar. draws him himself it's just a paint pen and he just draws it so if those and they clear coat it which yeah. is not really going to change the tone of your guitar but I think to me some people there's an argument out there to say you know some people say it does some people say it doesn't but a vinyl sticker on top of the guitar I think changes the guitar and I discovered that over the years because I used to put like you know my favorite band stickers on on the guitar <laughs> yep. and I always notice like why does it sound duller and it doesn't ring out as much because you know, it's kinda... not letting the wood vibrate exactly exactly so yep. that's my theory so if there are any of you and out also, there also oh, sorry you're going sorry please. also I also like less of a clear coat on my guitar too oh you got a thin lacquer yeah it's a very thin lacquer I hate the thick lacquer yep Yes. That's why, yeah, well, that, your, your current model is basically that will also That'll also give it to soften the wood, too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I don't like that. It's so interesting. So mine's, but, mine right now is a satin finish. Sorry to cut you off. No, no, no it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, it's a satin finish. So For people who don't understand metal, they wouldn't even realize you'd appreciate that so much. Because, you know, some people just go, metal's noise, I don't get it. But it's for people who watch this who are like, who's going on? What's this? And blah, blah, blah. To get it, that you really care about your tone. It's good. Of course. I mean, come on. Anybody who's listening to Fear Factor Records know... We know, yeah. but those but who anybody don't. who listens to those records know. Okay, this guy's got a you know distinguishable tone. So very much so. You know. What I was going to say before is for people watching this, if you are a massive interested fan in getting a Dino custom shop style, I mean we all know that they don't do custom shop per se, uh, custom shop style guitar. That's right, I can edit. Okay, um, put in the comments of this YouTube video with the fact that you actually genuinely would buy it because so many people you put out a guitar it's got a price point everyone cries about the price these days yeah you know a lot of people have you know a lot of people have to save up for that kind of guitar of course I mean, that's the reason and I understand it and I, and, but there are and some people with money who would buy them yes there I are. agree with you you know and um, we need to know they're out there that's, that's why I, I want to make a more a great quality more affordable guitar and of course Ibanez is a great quality guitar excellent and especially Quite when it's a Jap Japanese made or American made yeah. they're great quality guitars and uh, even the stuff in Indonesia and Korea, wherever else they make it, they're still great quality guitars. But I want to make a more affordable, more, more affordable guitar, so that way, you know, the average, like you know, your mom, you can go buy it for you. You know what I mean? Yep. It's not too expensive because I can imagine where kids want to go buy the guitar and like, mom, I want that. She's like, three thousand dollars? Nope. Yeah, fair enough. You know enough, what I mean? Too. So I want to make it to where I'm like, oh, it's only eight hundred dollars or. You know, a thousand dollars. Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, correct. All right. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thanks, Dino. I'm stoked to finally meet you. We could talk about guitars and woods forever. Of course we can. Well, maybe we'll do another video at the booth sometime over the weekend. Yes, we will. Good. Excellent. Well, there'll be a part two coming hopefully soon. Rock. Part, part two. <laughs> <laughs>